you go. Yours will be a few minutes. Meet you outside. Ben. So, how were you the only one to audition? Romeo? Most of the guys reckon it's pretty gay. Gay? Idiots. He's only like the greatest lover of women of all time. Do you go for Juliet? Yeah, nice. Coming, Benny boy? Uh, yeah, coming. Catch you tomorrow. Are you seriously not going to tell me why Chicken Girl was drawing on you? Why does it matter so much? If it doesn't matter, then just tell me. What is wrong with you? Why are you keeping secrets all of a sudden? Who was the number? What number? Her number. What for? I don't know, hang out. What? She thinks I'm cute. What? And I like her, so we might hang out, that's all. Are you telling me you're gay? I don't know, maybe. Why do you get those ones if you hate coconut so much? You right? You've been a zombie all day. If I tell you something, do you promise to keep it a secret? Yeah. No, like seriously, voltage, you can't tell a soul. Yeah, what? <laughs> I so knew that. Audrey Zalezzo. Mandy! Sweet. What? You won't say anything, will you? Is that why you guys have been getting so close this year? Have you been getting it on in the back of the bus? No! Does she have a crush on you? Have you guys kissed? <laughs> okay, gang. We've cast the production. To those of you who got the role you were after, congratulations. Those of you who didn't, I want you to remember the lesson of Pulp Fiction. Christopher Walken, one scene, steals the whole movie. Anyway, we'll start rehearsals on Monday. Uh, production team, start thinking of some ideas. I want that awesomeness I know you can bring, okay? I'll see you then. Hey, Lord, you got Juliet. What? Hey. I didn't think you'd actually give me the role. I would dish it as a joke. <laughs> a joke? You knew how much it meant for me to get that part. Just give it up. What? I said give it up. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But I, I kind of want to do it. Why are you being like this? Being like what? You've changed. Hey. Nothing's changed. Get off me, you filthy dog! Don't touch me! What? She is? Get off me, you filthy dyke! Don't touch me! What? She is.
laundry. I just didn't expect that from her. I feel like, I feel like everyone's laughing at me. Like I'm a freak. Hey look, I didn't mean to get involved in all this. And I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Do your parents know? What well, are you gonna tell them? I like you and all, but you shouldn't do this, you know? Not right now. I've got a lot to go through. You need to tell someone. There's people out there who care. They'll want to help you. The silence is just going to make the people that want to hurt you stronger. And I'm here whenever you need to talk. I'm so glad you've come in, Audrey. It's really brave. And you need to know you can come in here and talk to me whenever you want to. Thanks. Now, everything that's going on, we can work through it. You need to know you've got people on your side. And I know it feels difficult at the moment, and more than likely it won't be easy, but nothing worthwhile ever is.
Sorry I'm late. Traffic was brutal. What's wrong? Max is dead. Suicide. What? Going with his buddies out there? Dunno. Seems kinda gay. Yeah, it's cause he is. No, right? She already said to show when she asked him to the formal. No, she said that. Are we starting rehearsals today? No. Today we're just going to talk. Can someone tell me why we do this? Why we do what? This. Drama, theatre, stories, literature, painting, poems, any of it. What's it for? To express ourselves? Sure, but who cares? Why should I care, or why should anybody care for that matter, what you, Annie Wilcox, has to say? I mean, there has to be something more, right? I'll tell you what I think it's for. I think it's to learn something about ourselves. So that we see something in these characters that, that we see in ourselves. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll get a little insight into what it's like to be a certain way, to act a certain way. But do you, know what, do you know what kills me? Do you know what really pisses me off is that we never do learn. People continue to lie and, and cheat and hurt each other and they'll do that until the end of time. I want to tell you a story. It's about a boy called Max. You see, um, Max, would walk to the beat of his own drum. He didn't really like sports and he didn't really like video games, but he did like drama and he did like to sing. And he was happy. Until he started high school last year. You see, the boys at his high school didn't really think that drama and singing were all that masculine and they decided to tell Max every day. They called him gay and poof, faggot. Until one day Max googled how to make a noose and he found a good spot in the garage and he hung himself. All because Max liked to sing. That's it. I don't have anything else to say, you can go. <laughs> 